Don't trust what women say, only pay attention to what women do. Now, this is a very common phrase repeated in the Red Pill and Manosphere. And the statement is largely true. But it's not true for women specifically. It applies to both sexes. And it largely depends on how talkative a person is. It has nothing to do if you meet a talkative guy or you meet a talkative girl. The less confidence you have in the words that they say. And this is for several reasons. Um, the way I see it, there's two kinds of people. There's the talkative people and the quiet people. And the talkative people are kind of like machine guns. They fire from the hip. They're fast. They, they're not terribly accurate. And uh, yeah, it's volume. They shoot a lot of times. Whereas the quiet people are more like sniper rifles. They're slow. They take time before they speak. And they're not terribly fast, but they're very accurate. And the words that they say are concise and accurate. Whereas a machine gun is not so concerned with accuracy. It's more concerned with speed and volume. And this is where people get confused when, when a talkative person or a you know, non-talkative person meet, they often get confused because when I, when I used to listen to a talkative person, I put very high emphasis on their words. I expected them to be super accurate, to mean what they say and say what they mean. And that's not how they function. There's very little filter between their brain and mouth. Whereas a quiet person the filter is very big. They think long and hard before the words that they say come out of their mouth. Now, this is not me hating on talkative people. I actually love and prefer to hang out with talkative people. The majority of my guy friends are on the more talkative side. And pretty much all the past girlfriends that I've ever had have been very talkative. This is great because I like to listen and they like to talk. So it's a good balance that way. However, a mistake that us quiet people often make is we put too much emphasis on the words that they say. So when a girlfriend says something bad to you or something really good to you, you spend yourself to, like spend so much time thinking about what they said or what they meant and why would they say something like that when she's only spent a split second thinking about the words that she says. And here you are pontificating for days on end about the words that she said and she didn't even think about saying. So neither should you. Whatever your whatever words come out of these people's mouths, your talkative girlfriend, it should be in one ear and out the other. Simply because they don't think about the words that they're saying. So neither should you. And that's the problem with us quiet people is we over put over emphasis on the words that people say. We expect them to be precise and accurate, like sniper rifles, when they're machine guns, just poof, firing off like crazy. So, don't get bent out of shape. It's going to save you so much time, so much drama, so much energy, by just putting less emphasis on the words that these people say. So, whatever they say, whether it's good or bad about you, just realize that, like, they probably haven't thought very hard about what they're saying, so neither should I, so I'll just forget about it. You can see this dynamic play out in podcasts or talk radio. If you've ever listened to podcasts or talk radio, you'll realize that these people talk for like six hours a day on random, like a million different topics. And whenever they run brush on a topic that you actually know a lot about, that you're really passionate about, you've studied a lot about, have tons of experience with, you'll realize that these people talk 90% bullshit. The majority of the stuff that is coming out of their mouth is just spewed out with no experience, without no, you know, critical thinking about it. So don't get bent out of shape about what these people say. They're just spewing out words. They're not like people that choose their words carefully or only talk about topics that they really know a lot about or have a lot of experience in. 
These people just talk. So don't get bent out of shape about people that love to talk. Just realize that they talk. Accuracy isn't that important to them. Remember, if a talkative girl is comfortable with you, she will have a very small filter between her brain and mouth. For better or for worse, whatever comes out of her mouth is what she's thinking at that point in time. The mistake that us guys make is we tend to overthink of what they're saying. We contemplate for days, like pontificating about what they meant or, you know, why would she say that? It's not true, blah, blah, blah. Just realize that she spent a split second thinking about it. So you should spend a split thinking, split second thinking about it as well. It should be in your ear and out the other. This is going to save you so much drama, so much energy, and so much time in the long run. When you stop putting emphasis on people's words and just pay attention to their actions. Now, it's a little bit different for quiet people. If you're dating a quiet girl, you can actually put weight in their words. Because these are the people, these are the girls that think long and hard before what they're about to say. They know, they before they speak, they're thinking about, oh, how will he take this? What he will he respond to? And that's a good thing. You can put weight in these girls' words. You can, you know, think hard about what the words that they're saying because they thought long and hard before the word they said those words as well. So, yeah, whether you're dating quiet girls or wedding talkative girls, you kind of have to <clears throat> weigh their words differently. A girl that's like a machine gun, you don't have to put too much thought in the words that she's saying. But if she's more like a sniper rifle, yeah, then the odds are you probably have to pay attention to what the, the words that she's saying to you. All right, that's the video. Thanks for watching, guys.